What is up, my fellow Cheebits? Hopefully all of you are having a wonderful day or night wherever you live, and I wish you all great health. And so, a new TG chapter has graced us with its presence. Honestly, I did not expect to see a TG chapter today. I really didn't, because with, you know, Shonen Jump going on break last week, and we had a chapter last week and all that, and you know how the holidays are, I was under the impression that we were not going to have a chapter of TG this week. We are probably not going to have one for, like, another two weeks or so. That That's what I expected, but... That apparently was not the case. I'm going to assume that this is the final chapter of the year. That's what I'm assuming. So, just a brief FYI, I, I, I'm going to assume that this chapter is probably going to leave off on a crazy cliffhanger because it's Ishida. But also, on top of that, though, this is most likely the final chapter of the year. So, I just want to make sure I clarify that. Now, before I begin, I just want to say happy holidays, everybody. Hopefully, all of you are having a lot of fun, and even if you don't celebrate the holidays, I still wish you a very good rest of the year. I hope you're having fun, hopefully you have smiles, and if you're not smiling and you're not having fun, I do hope it gets a lot better for you very soon. And also, if you've been taking exams this week and all of that, I do hope that you get good results and you have passed your exams or whatever you're trying to do. If you're trying to get a job or, you know, set up for college or whatever you're trying to do, I, I wish you all best of luck and just, you know, happy holidays as well. So anyways, let us begin. Let's start this chapter. This is chapter 154 of Tokyo Ghoul Re. Pull up the chapter 2 if you want to live react alongside of me, if you want to just, you know, react and read the stuff with me. So let us begin. Okay, once they had eyes for the same things, what about now? Question mark. Oh yeah, last chapter, oh yeah, yeah the QS popped up and Toko had, okay, yeah, Toko's getting pushed down by Aura. Oh, I can't stand him. Mutsuki being annoying as well. Okay. Toka. Oh, Toka's getting up. Okay. Go. Chapter title is Trace 154. Hmm. I don't know what that means, but okay, we'll figure it out. Um. So Toka's. She got out of that. Okay, so Toka's. She managed to leave. Mutsuki's probably not going to feel too happy about that. Okay, we're in the middle of an operation. Are you serious? Mutsuki's just sitting there smiling, and Aura's just acting like, yeah, I'm important, yeah, I'm important, yeah, I'm, I, I'm crazy strong, I'm, the, I, I, I'm a crazy strong man, I'm definitely relevant, I'm definitely uh, the strong as, you know, all the others, Artema and all that, he's Artema 2.0, that's what Aura's trying to think he is. Oh, yeah, it's pretty crazy, isn't it, Aura? Do you think that the CCG would join up with ghouls? Given the situation, we are to make use of anything and anyone we can. That's what the higher-ups have decided, and I agree with them. That's the crazy part. Oh, Mutsuki has her Kakagon activating. Okay. You see the veins and stuff on her eye. So, we're actually going to be having a fight. So, is Mutsuki really going to fight Udi? Hmm. Huh. Huh. She is really wanting to fight Uri. I wonder if... I know Uri has feelings for Mutsuki. It's obvious. He has feelings for her. And we do know how, you know, Psycho and all of them feel, too. The QS is like family. So, in a way, when you look at this, what's about to happen here, I'm assuming it's about to be a big fight. It's kind of like family members, like a brother and sister going up against each other, even though... Technically, Uri has feelings for her, but you get my point. They're like a family, though. And so, it's like siblings going at each other. So, I kind of feel bad. I, I I feel bad. But this has been building up for a very long time. Uri's very aware of how Mutsuki is. He's been aware for a long time now. And this is just something that's been bound to happen, been built up for a very long time. I wonder if Mutsuki really will kill Uri, though. I mean, for her to do what she did to, you know, Kaneki, I want to assume that she would be willing to kill Uri as well. That just makes sense with her character, but is Uri, is he in the position, is he willing to put her down? That is the question I have. Anyways, let's continue on. Okay. Oh, she's yelling. Her, uh, okay, Kagane's coming out. Crap. Shao Higimaru, yes, I'm leaving Aura to you. Roger. Oh, so Xiao and Higgy are going to be fighting Aura, and so I'm going to assume Psycho and Uri are going to be fighting Mutsuki. Okay. Hmm. Makes sense. It does make sense. I mean, Psycho and Uri going up against Mutsuki, it makes sense since they have been around the longest, and, you know, Mutsuki is a part of the OG QS, 
I'm going to assume it makes sense. And then having Higgy and uh, Xiao go up against, you know, Aura also makes sense since they were part of the new recruits of the QS. Okay, next page. Oh. Oh, Kaneki's eye is looking down at Toka. That's very, very creepy. Oh, yeah, it is. Look, if you look at the pa page five, okay, if you're counting the cover page as well, you see on the top panel, you see the eye, Kaneki's eye, looking straight down at Toka as she's coming up. And then you see an eye underneath the panel, you see it looking at Toka. So they're both looking at Toka. So I, I'm very curious if Kaneki is aware of Toka's existence, because we don't really know what's going on in Kaneki's mind and all that. He became this form because of Toka. We know that, and everybody he loved, his child and all that. So it makes me wonder if if this man actually recognizes Toka, or is it just a reaction of the eyes, his Kagane? I'm very curious about that. Anyways, let's continue on, okay? So, okay, so we have Xiao and Higgy chasing Aura. Aura's on the run, which makes sense. I mean, Aura, let's be real here. Aura's, he's weak as hell. Like, he, this man's weak as hell. Regardless of how many people he ate, regardless if he fought Yelmo, Xiao was in the garden, the sunlit garden, okay? Xiao obviously is going to destroy this man. I'm just going to say right now, I, I'm, I'm just going to say Xiao is going to destroy this man. Xiao was in the sunlit garden. We know this. So there's just no way she won't beat the crap out of Aura. If she doesn't win, I'm going to be extremely upset. I want to be honest here. I will be upset. Okay. Chasing. Okay, so he jumped. Kagane coming in. He slices Higgy's Kagane. Okay, he rotates and spins and slices Higgy's Kagane. Okay. <laughs> Yo! Okay, that's great. I did not expect. Okay, I was just talking about Xiao going in and destroying this man. And when I get a page like this, like Xiao just comes in and drop kicks this man. Yo! Yo! Oh, man, she got them curves, though. Whoa. I mean, Shell's always had that, you know, that, uh, that body. I mean, she always has. And she does really emphasize that, especially in certain regions, her assets and stuff. But uh, basically, man, that, that, oh, okay, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. But uh, she just straight up drop kicked this man. Yo! <laughs> she just... Like, okay, let me back up. Let me just back up to this. So, this man is straight up, okay? He, he's dodging. He's rotating in the air, trying to act like he's big bad. He's, like, slicing up Higgy's, uh, his Kagane. And he sees Xiao underneath and all that. She's jumping up, and she straight up drop kicks this man. Like, bam! Right in the side, dude. Oh! Oh, man, I love Xiao. Oh, man. It, it, it's to be expected. I mean, she's a QS. She also was from the Sunlit Garden, so you know for a fact she is going to have some insane fighting abilities. I mean, in all honesty, adding, like, a, a Kagane on top of her abilities from the Sunlit Garden, she's going to be ridiculous. Like, insanely strong. So, Aura, get out of here. I, I, I'm so glad this man just got hit like that. I, I, oh, thank you, Ashita. This is a great Christmas present. Thank you so much. Especially the curves, too, to the... Uh, Shall I just start? I want to I want to emphasize the curves and the assets of you know <laughs> the uh, shall but okay let, let, let me continue I'm sorry okay so Toma why do us friends have to fight each other you have to fight because you have aura which is just a little little jerk that <sighs> I don't like aura or is a little fuckboy basically I, you know what I'm gonna say it I, I know YouTube's gonna be like eh, 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 but you know what I gotta say it I gotta say it I'm just the yeah have to fight each other. Oh man, she hit him hard. She, this man is sliding, yo. Well, okay, well, well, let me back up to see what's going on. Okay, page seven, drop kicks, man hits the ground. Oh, and then Higgy follows up with a hit right to the gut and slams him. Okay, so it was a combo attack against Aura, and he started slot. Yo, that man got hit hard. Okay, we have no choice but to cooperate with ghouls. That's how bad things are. It's crazy, Higgy. Just like Tordu said, there's no way we can just kiss and make up. Or perhaps there shouldn't be. Aura, 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 Aura. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yes, I know it's hard to forgive people. It's probably one of the hardest things to do. To forgive people that have done you wrong. But in reality, Aura, in the grand scheme of things... 
you, you haven't been as affected as nearly as some of the others in this series. Aura is getting all upset and getting butt hurt because his aunt got hurt a little bit. Yes, she lost her legs, but in reality, though, that could have been hell of a lot worse. She could be dead. She literally could be a vegetable, not moving. So, I mean, in reality, she got off very easy, especially going up against someone like the One-Eye King. And so, this man... He, he's all but hurt. He, he can't forgive ghouls. When there's been people I went through so much more heinous stuff that are willing to set aside their differences and forgive ghouls. I mean, Toka, perfect example of ghoul side, what's done been done to her. And then let's think of, you know, Akira, what's been done to her. You know, perfect example of two individuals that have been messed with constantly or someone like, you know, Almond, how he's been messed with as well. So, I mean, just... Aura, get out of here, okay? Your problems are very insignificant and irrelevant. Okay, hey, this boy acting like he has seen everything. This boy acting like he's going like Kaneki up in here, acting like he's walked through the valley. He's seen everything. He's seen both sides. He's seen the darkness and the light. This man acting like he's been Kaneki the entire time. Get out of here! No, you're not. Okay. Uh. Anyways, next page. I'm sorry. I, I like I said. I don't like Aura. Uh, he gets me a little bit agitated, and that's how it should be, because what about the people they hurt? The world members that laid down their lives. How can you do this to their memories? Joining up with monsters to go hunting. Do you really believe that's the right thing to do? <sighs> we should fight as humans. Only humans. The correct thing to do is this. I, as a human, I will fight with pride in who I am. This man saying he has pride. <laughs> That's funny. But this man saying he has pride. I also find it very ironic that the man says he's human when he looks like a straight up ghoul in this image. The man has a cogony coming around his arm and all that, like going all around his arm. He's like, as a human, like my boy, you're you're you really, you're no longer really even could be considered a human or a human because of how you are. I said human. What the? But anyways, um, he can't even be considered human because. <sighs> okay, anyways, th th this man acting like he's got pride and stuff. No, you're not. You're just a little fuck boy. Okay, it's going to break. Shao. Oh, Shao's blocking. Okay, she's blocking. She's getting pushed back. It's going to break. Higgy's coming in. Okay, Higgy comes in. Shao backs up. Oh my yo, there's curves though. There's curves though. <laughs> Oh, base to Sheeta, man. Sheeta, you give me them gifts in this chapter. You give me them gifts with Shao and that, uh... Oh! Oh my! Page 11! Pa Yo, you can see the outline of the... You can see the outline of... Oh! Oh, oh a Sheeta! A Sheeta! A Sheeta! Like, what? Something tells me that Sheeta really likes Shao. Something tells me that Sheeta really likes drawing Shao. I don't know what it is. Like, Sheeta's not someone to do fan service. He is not someone to really have fan service. He doesn't do that stuff. He doesn't. I mean, even in the chapter 125 with, you know, Token Kaneki getting it on, you know, Kaneki finding the rabbit hole, even then, there wasn't really much fan service. I mean, he could have went really in, but he didn't. So... And she is very tame on that department, but I noticed every time Xiao was in the picture, every time Xiao was in a chapter, for some reason, Ashida has to emphasize the curves, the assets and stuff. They just... I, I noticed that. I, I noticed Ashida does that with her character, and I wonder if he has a thing for people like Xiao, or if he just really likes drawing her. But anyways, I want to point out that outline, okay? Guys, page 11, okay, if you count the cover page, middle panel on the right. See the outline there on the, uh, there's just, yeah. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. I know you guys don't care. I'll stop. Oh, yeah, but, oh, she's going in for that kick, though. I just realized that. Man, gritting his teeth. Okay. Oh, he kind of tanked that a little. Oh, wow, he tanked Shao's kick. Hit Higgy, Maru. To this, Ashida. Ashida. Ashida, 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 no! Oh, yo, this Ashida, it, seriously, Ashida, seriously, Ashida, really, really? 
Oh my god. Yeah, it's official. Ashita is definitely using Shao's fan service. I, it is definitely official with that. Look at Paige. Look at the. Look at what the kick. Look at the kick. Look what Aura's doing with the way he's kicking Shao. Look how he's kicking her. Look, look. You, you, you even see the movement of it. You, you, you legit see the movement of it. You see the. You see the curve. Okay, Sheena. Okay, 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 okay. That is a. Uh... Oh, that might be thumbnail. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest there. Okay. Hmm. Or just fighting them off, though. I'm actually kind of surprised he's fighting them off, though. I just don't get it. Higgy, ghouls killed your relatives, didn't they? And Shao, don't you remember how important first class uh, Hyru was to you? How can you so easily join hands with them? I don't understand. Oh, this man being a little whiny. Miss uh, Kyoko, ever since I was born, she's been fighting with ghouls. She spent her entire life doing that. Someone that beautiful was always covered in scars. And when I was young, I couldn't do anything but look on at her. Do you two understand? I wanted to protect her. Okay, so it wasn't just the fact of her losing her legs. It was the fact that he always saw her getting harmed. Hurt. Even then, though, it wasn't anything that crazy bad compared to what's happened to others. I mean, so... It's still nowhere near as insane as to what happened to others. I mean, look, it, what he just said, let, let's look at what he's saying. Comparing it to what happened to Higgy. Higgy's relatives were killed by ghouls. And then Xiao lost someone she looked up to like a mentor, which is Hyru. So, compare that to what, you know, is going on with Aura. Aura is, is very insignificant and tiny. So, I just, like, this man needs to really be quiet. Okay. Mid-combo, okay. Oh, okay, I know I like Toka, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't, I, and I like Psycho, okay? I, I like Psycho, I like Toka, but, oh, I can't even lie. I'm liking Shao right now. I'm really liking Shao, not just because of the mass sets, but just, like, just kicking this man. Like, he's just, like, bam, like, right the man. He's like, I wanted to protect your band, just right this side, dude. Like, oh, okay. I like it. If it, ooh. Wait, does she have five highs? <gasps> does she have five highs? I think she does. Okay. Anyways. Wanted to protect her. Toma's uncle and Miss Hairu are both gone. If you really wanted to protect her, what the hell are you doing here? Wimp. Yo. Okay, that thumbnail. That's thumbnail. That's thumbnail. That is straight thumbnail. <sighs> love her. I 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 love. Her. Oh my. Mm. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. It pa oh, I like this panel. If you really want to protect her, what the hell are you doing here, wimp? Yo, she just called this man a wimp. <laughs> like, yo. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. They just like. Oh yes, I'm in love with her now. That's that's nice. Yeah, this man's like, but his face. <laughs> or his face. And this man's like, did she just call me a wimp? Like, yo. Oh. Okay, oh man, I like how she basically said stop letting the people of the dead control your life. I do like that. That also goes along with, you know, Akra and all that and how she wasn't letting her father now dictate what she chooses. But still, oh man, like, Shao, Sheeta, thank you. Th thank you for this Christmas gift. I, you know, thank you, base to Sheeta, Lord of Sheeta, thank you for blessing me with this great Shao fight with the fan service to the, uh, the quality lines she just delivered in the drop kick and all of that, just like, mm. All right, next page. Oh, we're moving over into Mutsuki versus Uri and Psycho. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a cliffhanger, ain't it? Yeah, this is, this is page 16, so that would mean we're probably going to have like two or three more pages left of this chapter. Uh, so... Crap. That, that means that there's probably going to be a big cliffhanger, because this is definitely going to be the final chapter of the year. 
I just realized something. That uh, that panel with uh, Mutsuki at the top, that looks like an Arima panel. I don't know if I'm remembering that right, but I, I, I know there was a panel earlier on in Tokyo Ghoul Re, or maybe, maybe in part one, but there was a panel where we saw Artemis back, and he was looking across in the distance, and what's very similar to what we see, you know, Mutsuki doing towards Uri and uh, Psycho. So, I wonder if Ashida is paralleling to Arima right there. Hmm. It's a very similar look at panel. The coat and all that, it looks very similar. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, they're, uh, Uri just activated his, uh, Ka uh, Kagane. Okay. The eyes staring at Mutsuki. Oh, wow, she went in real quick. The stab Uri, okay. Dodging. Okay, so Mutsuki's having to dodge. Mucha. Uh, there's Psycho coming in with her fist. What the hell? What the hell? What? 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 Well, okay, well. Psycho coming in with a fist. Moochon. And then a fist comes in. Wait, are you telling me Mutsuki made that fist? I mean, look, I, I know Kagane depends on your imagination, but it's been established that Psycho has a man. Wait, wait, so, wait, whoa, 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 it's just, Mutsuki can, right, let, let me just go to the next page, what? Whoa, whoa, that panel, though, okay, let me just read the dialogue, though. My Megaton Psycho Punch, she traced it. Traced on, that reminds me of me. Okay, so, uh, she, she traced it. Yonibayashi. Dr. Shiva, there is one member of the QS whose RC count I do not know. Higimaru, 701. Ora, 980. Shaun, 892. Yonibayashi, stable at 852. Toru Mutsuki's RC count. Yeah, she has arms sticking out. What the? It's three. Wait, whoa, whoa, you're telling me that her RC level count is three? I call bull. I call bull! What in the world? I couldn't care less if you die. Or Udi, I Oh, Udi, I couldn't care less if you die. It means Mutsuki's suppressing them. His RC cells. I just realized something. That, that that's Mutsuki's Kagane. And as we know, what was established that the individual eyes represent the Kakaho. Oh my god, Mutsuki has a lot of Kakahos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Probably a, many more we don't see, so I wanna just estimate to about twenty Kakos, maybe more than that. That's a lot. Oh my god. Oh my god. I couldn't care less. The ultimate form of the QS question mark. So wait, wait, so let me let me get this straight. So Mutsuki Mutsuki's RC count, nobody really knew Mutsuki's RC cell count. Dr. Shiba didn't. Cause Mutsuki was suppressing them. So you're telling me that Mutsuki was using RC cell suppressants? That's what I'm assuming. So Mutsuki was using RC cell suppressants to repress the actual reading of how much she was probably eating? For her to have that much, that many kakahos... Mutsuki has been devouring people for a very long time. You don't just get a Kagane that size without eating people for a very long time. I mean, it was implied since the very beginning in the auction raid that Mutsuki was eating people already, because we saw Sinora, she smiled and all that in the panel in the auction raid. That was like in the first 30 chapters of Tokyo Ghoul Reap. So, 
there's a very likely possibility Muski's been eating people since she actually first became a QS. Which would explain the size of this. Which also would explain why she always seemed weak or unstable earlier on was because she was taking RC cell suppressants. That's why she was always, you know, looked like she was off balance or whatever. Like she looked sickly or whatever. So that, that would make a lot of sense. So she was always taking RC cell suppressants to be able to hide what she really is doing. Who gave her the RC cell suppressants unless she stole them? That's a question for another day. So I want to end it there. Next issue, Mutsuki's Obsession. Tokyo Ghoul Re. So, <clears throat> I think I want to end it there. Yeah. Uh, I'm 20 min or 28 minutes in. Sorry if I sound like I need to cough or whatever. I'm getting a little bit sick. But, uh, it's this was a good chapter. Very good chapter, Tokyo Ghoul Re. The Shao stuff. Spice. Love it. Love it, Ashita. Thank you so much for that Christmas gift. That That's uh, straight fire. So, um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How you felt about this week's chapter of Tokyo Ghoul. How do you feel about Mutsuki's overall RC cell count? And I'm willing to bet you the three most likely is a reference to a card. Uh, you know, a tarot card. So, that's why I'm assuming. So, I want to end it there. Love you guys. You know, have a wonderful day. Happy holidays. Chibi out.